The Indian Navy is studying nuclear propulsion for future surface warships beyond Project 18 destroyers. Driven by concerns over fuel dependency and rising power demands, planners see nuclear reactors as key to unlimited endurance and sustained high-tempo operations. Leveraging experience from submarine reactors, the Navy is preparing for power-hungry weapons, like lasers and railguns. While still a long-term vision, likely post-2040, the move signals India's push toward next-generation blue water dominance. India's indigenously developed Pralay ballistic missile has successfully completed two consecutive user trials from Abdul Kalam Island, Odisha. Conducted by DRDO, the tests validated the missile's minimum and maximum range with pinpoint accuracy and met all operational parameters. Pralay is a solid fuel, quasi ballistic surface to surface missile with advanced guidance and multiple warhead options. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh hailed the achievement as a major boost to India's precision strike and deterrence capabilities. The Indian Air Force's planned induction of nearly 700 Astra Mk-2 missiles marks a major shift in regional air combat. With a reported 200-kilometer range, the Astra Mk-2 more than triples the engagement area of Su-30 MKIs enabling earlier first strike options and wider airspace denial. Backed by AWACS and data links, it raises deterrence and operational reach, while compelling adversaries to rethink sensors, patrol geometry, and electronic warfare in an increasingly contested BVR battle space. India's defense exports are gaining traction, as the successful ATAC's delivery to Armenia draws strong interest from Middle Eastern nations. Developed by DRDO with private partners, the artillery system has proven its range, accuracy and reliability in diverse conditions. Several countries have sought detailed briefings on India's 155mm guns and mounted systems, attracted by competitive pricing, modern capabilities and flexible technology transfer. This momentum could translate into major export orders ahead. The Defense Acquisition Council's clearance for the 120km Panaka LRGR marks a major leap in the Army's long-range firepower. Integrated with existing Panaka launchers, the guided rocket delivers deep precision and saturation strikes at a fraction of missile costs. With high domestic production capacity, it enables sustained operations, imposes heavy costs on enemy defenses, and expands India's ability to hold key military targets at risk across the Western Front. A leading U.S. think tank has warned of a moderate risk of renewed armed conflict between India and Pakistan in 2026. The Council on Foreign Relations cites terrorism and Kashmir tensions, recalling the 2025 Pahalgam attack in India's Operation Sindor. Drone warfare, LOC clashes and rapid arms buildups have heightened volatility. Though a ceasefire holds, experts caution that another major terror incident could quickly reignite hostilities between the nuclear-armed neighbors. India's Akash air defense missile has evolved into a far more resilient system with advanced dual guidance technology. Combining mid-course command guidance with terminal active RF seeker homing, newer Akash variants can defeat jamming and spoofing attempts. Developed by DRDO, this hybrid approach ensures accurate interceptions, even in heavy electronic warfare conditions. With late seeker activation, secure data links, and proven performance against drones and aircraft, Akash now offers robust, Modern Battlefield Air Defense India is set to cross a major hypersonic milestone as DRDO prepares the maiden flight test of the Dhvani hypersonic glide vehicle in early 2026. Capable of flying beyond Mach 6, Dhvani uses a boost glide profile to evade missile defenses through sharp maneuvers. Drawing from the HSTDV program, It features advanced thermal protection and flexible mission designs. Successful trials will strengthen India's strategic deterrence and indigenous hypersonic capabilities.
India has approved a Rs 5,181 crore indigenous integrated air defense weapon system to protect Delhi's sensitive VIP-89 zone. Developed by DRDO, the Air Force-centric system will provide layered aerial defense within a 30-kilometer radius, countering aircraft, drones, and emerging threats. The deployment serves as a pilot under Mission Sudarshan Chakra, marking a shift toward integrated, anticipatory air defense and laying the foundation for a nationwide security shield. After finalizing the 120 kN Aero engine deal with France, India plans to rapidly establish a full-scale engine and component testing ecosystem at home. With French technical support, the initiative will cover component, altitude, ground, structural and environmental testing. This infrastructure will validate performance, durability and reliability across extreme conditions. The move addresses a long-standing gap in India's jet engine development journey, reduces reliance on foreign facilities, and strengthens self-reliance for future high-thrust military engine programs. With HAL set to manufacture the 98 kN F414 engine, attention is turning to the higher-thrust F414 Enhanced Performance Engine. Rated around 116 kN, the Enhanced Performance Engine offers 15 to 20% more thrust through improved materials, cooling, and thermal margins. For India, co-developing this variant would boost fighter performance, support future upgrades, and bridge capability gaps as indigenous engines mature. Strategically, it would move HAL beyond licensed production into advanced propulsion design, strengthening long-term self-reliance in critical aero engine technologies. India's advanced medium combat aircraft will be the first indigenous fighter to feature a built-in telescopic ladder, reflecting true fifth-generation design thinking. Integrated into the fuselage, the ladder enables rapid pilot access without external ground equipment, supporting dispersed operations and faster turnarounds. It enhances safety, ergonomics, and pilot autonomy while protecting sensitive stealth coatings and reducing ground signatures. More than a convenience, this feature highlights AMCA's focus on survivability, maintainability, and combat realism, aligning the aircraft with global fifth-generation operational standards. That's all for now. Hope you like this video. Please like, share, and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.